His blades have a sinewy, almost biomechanical look to them. Elijah Isham, the genius behind Isham Bladeworks, honed his steel with the irrational, the emotional, and the exceptional. In a world where surreal art often remains confined to grainy paintings and old films, Isham dared to bridge the gap and bring these nightmares to the world of knives. This isn't just the story of a knife designer, it's the chronicle of an artist whose journey ended even more abruptly than it began. Aishim was born into a family of knife enthusiasts. His father brought him to local knife shows as early as six years old, and he was gifted a green Swiss army knife at a young age. This sparked a lifelong interest in blades, which would ultimately be manifested in his drawings around 2012. At first, Isham's designs were focused on the practicality of bushcraft fixed blades, sturdy tools for demanding outdoor scenarios. But as his skills progressed and his online following grew, so did the medium of his art, transitioning from pencil sketches to plastic cutouts and two-dimensional CAD design. A shift in inspiration followed suit, as Isham quickly pivoted from outdoor tools to futuristic art pieces. His style developed into a modern interpretation of biomechanical surrealism, influenced by artists like H.R. Giger, Zdzisław Beszczyzinski, and Salvador Dali, coupled with the impact of his favorite custom knife makers like Jeremy Marsh. This unique fusion resulted in a characteristically organic look, and it wasn't long before his sketches caught the attention of custom blade craftsmen. Aishin's designs finally became a reality in 2014, when he began working with custom knife makers like Alec Dietz and Ben Chacon. These custom pieces, produced in limited quantities, bolstered Aishin's reputation and paved the way for his first mass-produced collaboration. When a cold email caught the attention of emerging knife brand Kaiser in 2016, the Aishin Bladeworks Kaiser Megatherium was finally born. Named after a prehistoric beast, the Megatherium was a Santoku-inspired folder featuring a 3.5-inch blade. It had a unique opening system that concealed the flipper tab in the handle when engaged, improving its ergonomic design. The simple geometry trick was named Isham's Edge Under Tab System and would become a hallmark of his later work, as well as a pivotal driver of the Megatherium's runaway success. This opened the door to future collaborations with major brands like Wii Knives and Civivi. But the pinnacle of Aishim's fame lies in the Wii Eschaton, a name which references the end of the universe. Tapping even farther into his surrealism inspiration, Aishim designed the Eschaton with a sub-integral frame, meaning the handle of the knife is a single titanium piece wrapping all the way around, with added carbon fiber cutouts on the exterior. These materials, combined with the hollowed out components, make the Eschaton an incredibly lightweight knife at just 3 ounces. The blade is comprised of a two-part grind, including a close portion near the choil for precise cutting work and a curved end made for chopping harder materials. This made the Eschaton not just a showpiece, but a capable bushcraft survival tool in the spirit of Aisham's earliest designs. The radical look was controversial, but also a smashing success, setting the stage for subsequent projects like the Arrakis and Eterna. With his career taking off, Aishim even hinted at the possibility of a collaboration with famous brands like Spyderco, which would have elevated his work to a monumental audience around the world. But what looked like a promising future would be tragically cut short in 2022. Aishim passed away following an accident and subsequent police standoff where he brandished an unloaded revolver from his overturned car. The jarring loss sent the knife world into grieving, but the legacy and designs he left behind are still carried by thousands in his honor. Knives like the Megatherium, Eschaton, and numerous limited edition customs have earned their place in the collections of enthusiasts. As a testament to their departure from convention, surprising ergonomics, and uniquely inspired designer.